Hello everybody, this is John Evans, and you're watching another episode of Mid Mod Money, the show that teaches you how to buy and sell vintage items for a profit. I want to thank you for watching this program. Thank you for watching. Sincerely, thank you. And uh, remind you to like and subscribe. If you enjoy the content, please hit that like. And um, I want to start off the show um, by uh, mentioning that I set a goal for myself to make about $60 a day uh, when I go thrift store shopping. $60 a day um, on days that I thrift. So uh, that uh, transferred out to the month would be $1,800 a month. Um, and, you know, you're not going to sell everything. So about half that, eight dollars $900 is what I, uh, uh, that's my goal of what I uh, make flipping vintage stuff. And that combined with the inventory that's existing in the two uh, antique malls that I have booths at, um, that makes for a nice little, uh, you know, side job, uh, could be a full-time job, but I got other things. I got to be at Crackers in uh, Indianapolis, Crackers Comedy Club, downtown Indy, August, uh, 27th, 26th, 7th, Friday, Saturday. Jeez. Yeah. Come out to Crackers in downtown. Uh, that's hot off the press. Um, so, uh, the reason I'm doing this haul is because it came from Pittsburgh and it also, uh, I made about four times, uh, my goal, I, I like to make 60 a day. I made about four times that in just maybe three or four hours thrifting. It was unbelievable. Um, nothing huge, but a lot of cool, small things. So um, I want to get to this uh, haul, and it's going to be kind of moving quick. So be ready. Uh, starting with this. Nothing special, you know, pink vase. Little pink vases. Uh, it's got some gold accents, gold. Um, a little bit of wear on the bottom, not much. Uh, this was 219. This is from the 60s. Uh, and it's nothing spectacular, but it was two bucks. I'm going to sell it for 12. That is a quick 10 bucks right out of the gate. This next thing I found, look at this dum dum. Hi. Look at this guy. What a, what a dope. Jeez. What an idiot. But look at him or her. I think it's a her. Necklace, gemstone eyes. This is from the 1960s. It's a bank. It is a 1960s uh, cute dog bank with gem eyes. These things always sell. Vintage with the gem eyes always sell. Always buy it if it's cheap. This was $2.19 too, which is crazy from the St. Vincent de Paul. Uh, and uh, I'm going to sell it for 18 bucks. So that's like a $16 profit. Boom. Uh, next thing I found was this two ninety nine miscellaneous at the Goodwill. This is a toll tray, toll tray, da dum da dum dum, toll tray. This is uh, hand painted uh, black. Uh, they can be round sometimes. This one has a bird on it, but uh, very popular. People collect them. People put. Uh, uh, silver and whatnot on them. This was two ninety nine. I'm gonna sell this for twenty four dollars in my booth at the antique mall. Uh, next thing I found was this. Not mid century, but what do you know about that? Look, everybody, it's, uh, it's freaking Grover. Uh, this is a uh, Gam Gam project. This was nineteen seventies at the height. Of Muppet fame. This was done uh, by someone's Gam Gam. Doesn't say that, but uh, you get Grover in the seductive pose. It's got a wall hangy thing on the back to hang it. Uh, vintage Muppets, very hot. Very, very, very hot. So even though that this is a hand done piece, uh, still gonna go for about 18 to 20 bucks. Paid $2.99 for this, and I'm gonna sell it for about 20 bucks. 18. Let's call it 18. Um, Next thing, I had a run of bowls, which, uh, if you know what you're looking for, bowls, good place to go to make money in a thrift store. Um, got a little assist from my girlfriend on this one. I sent her a picture of this. This was $3.99. And I was like, $3.99, worth it? And she, she sent me back a sold on eBay. Uh, for $22 plus 10 shipping. So that makes it 32. Someone paid 32 for this on eBay. This is a peach blossom pattern from, uh, who is this? Fire King. This is not Pyrex, this is Fire King. So being that I've seen them go for 32, or I know for a fact they've gone for 32, I'm confident 
putting uh, 24 uh, um, in my booth, and I might try it on eBay. See if it, see if that magic can be recreated, huh? Uh, next bowl I found. This is the first time I've ever found one of these pretty popular vintage thing. This is called uh, Texas Ware. Remember these? This is what your, this is what your trays were made out of when you sat down for fifth grade lunch, the square pizza. This is Texas Ware, based in uh, Dallas, Texas. It's got a stamp on the bottom and a it's embossed. You got to be careful because people have copied this. Rachel Ray has a line of this. You got to look for the Texas Ware mark, but they're very popular. People buy them. Uh, this is probably 15 to 18 bucks. I paid $1.99 miscellaneous plastic at Goodwill. So this was two bucks. I'm going to sell it for 15 minimum. Uh, so 13 buck profit on the Texas Ware bowl. Last bowl. Pyrex. Never goes out of style. People love it. People are always looking to complete their sets, looking for different patterns, looking for different colors. This is a great color. Uh, so this was uh, this was two ninety nine uh, at uh, Goodwill, and uh, you know Pyrex bowls they go from from fifteen to twenty depending on the pattern. This one's got really good. Uh, really looks great. I love this one, and so I'm gonna probably put seventeen on this. So you know fourteen dollar profit on the single Pyrex bowl. We got to keep moving. We got to keep going because I found these guys. It's canisters. Set of four canisters made by Ransberg. If you uh, go on eBay and look at Ransberg canisters, man, they go for a lot of money. Uh, this has a great, uh, great design, great art on the front. It's uh, metal with plastic lids. Kind of an overpay, but I feel like I was on a roll this day where I just wanted to get all this stuff. So this was six ninety nine, and when I look these up, these go on eBay for thirty five, forty dollars a set. So uh, I'm gonna comfortably ask thirty six for this and just make thirty bucks off this awesome nineteen seventies canister set. All right, we're getting close. Uh, we are down to our last two items, and this next one is a doozy. It, you're like, is that what I think it is? Yeah, it is. It is a, this is a uh, popsicle stick lamp. Let's see if I can fire it up. Oh, boom. And what about the pull on the, oh, oh look at this. Geometrically perfect uh this is a lamp made out of popsicle sticks i'm not kidding real real talk six dollars 99 cents it's got a little uh plastic square on the top for stability thank god uh i've seen these before most of the time they are uh in terrible shape uh broken popsicles uh missing parts uh doesn't work this one is perfect no exaggeration when i saw this and i was like how is this not broken in any way i could not believe how nice this was and you don't usually see them with the light in the base so you've got the light up top and the light in the base it gives it a very cool look um yeah a lamp made out of popsicle i just realized this is like <laughs> this is like white trash antiques roadshow that's what this that's what this program is if you were to describe it it's like a white trash antiques roadshow uh, where the highest dollar value thing is 43 bucks. Now, this is, this is uh, I bought this for $6.99. I'm going to sell this for 43 to 48 bucks. No joke. They go on eBay. People pay for them with shipping. This one is remarkable. Wow. Whew. It's exciting, right? Uh, so we're down to our last thing and, uh, kind of something I love. Cause again, this goes right back to mid century modern, uh, this, whoa, this is a art glass swung vase. See that? See these every now and then I don't see the ones with the lines very often. So this was like, this is about 24 inches tall. Uh, I don't know who made it. I've looked around a lot. I can't get a uh, can't get a beat on who made this, but it really doesn't matter because these are very popular and very hot. People buy them uh, in the orange and the green. Um, 
Another lesson, I paid $12 for this, $12.91 $12 at American Thrift Center, whatever, West Mifflin. So they knew what they had. If a thrift store knows what they have, sometimes you got to bite the bullet and pay their price. Like, I'd love to have gotten this for $7.99, but this was $12.91, and I, I'm going to ask about $40, bucks, 30 38 bucks. So... Paid 12, sell for 38. And that concludes this haul. Now, this was one day, actually, not even a full day. This was three hours of thrifting. I was so stoked to find all this stuff. I paid 47 bucks for all of what you saw. 47. And in one three hour thrift store binge, I'm going to make 260 bucks to almost four times the money that I spent. Uh, on eBay and my booth at the antique malls and, uh, gosh, Facebook Marketplace. That's how I do it. I'm going to sell all of this stuff. It is as good as gone. Get it out of here. Uh, and how, and you can do it too. I mean, this is a part time job. This could be a full time job for you. This is, uh, how we do it. I want to thank you for, uh, watching Mid Mod Money and, uh, liking and subscribing. I can't reiterate, uh, enough how important that is. You guys have been great. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.